And now the host of your quarantine dreams, Jason Sewell. Yes, everybody. Welcome. Later with Jason Sewell. So glad you're tuned in. Bo, thank you for that great intro. I'm not sure. It's I'm hosting weird. everybody's not in the studio, but quarantine no. dreams. But here we are. This is what we what we do. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Making it the show must go on. Sing like a sing-dong key Talk to the girl that intimidates you Pretend that you're brilliant and charming I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming Welcome, everybody. Later with Jason Sewell. So glad that you are tuning in and joining us. This video chat style episode of the show. We've been having a lot of fun with these. Bo, how's it going over there, man? You look like you're holding up. Your set looks awesome. You always look great. Well, you know, it's uh, it, it was just so convenient that I just happened to have my own uh, podcast studio <laughs> set. So uh, why not uh, put some extra use out of it? So it's been, yeah. it's been fun. You know, one of the things I think we're really being good about is finding innovative ways to still build community because we're not necessarily, we're not able to go to the water park, you know, and we're not even able to go to some parks where you've got to keep your distance from people. But I'm really enjoying the ways that people are coming up with to be interacting with each other, whether it's through Kinda social like what media. We're doing now. Exactly. You know, I mean, I didn't know what Zoom was two months ago, and now here we are. I've been using it on the regular for some time. Constraint breeds ingenuity, they say, and yep. a lot of stuff, a lot of interesting stuff. And it'll be really cool to see how some of the stuff that we've learned during this time uh, evolves, in, and maybe we'll see some really great things because of it. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. And speaking of really great things and also constraint, uh, let's talk about what we got on the show today. What do we got on the show? Our friend Brian Fitton is joining us. He's got a podcast, uh, Go Rogue. Uh, he's going to talk to us about that podcast and how you can stay relevant, even people who are businesses. Because everyone's podcasting now. How do you stay relevant? How do you make sure that your podcast is at the top of folks' list? So he's going to fill us in on that. And then... We've got, okay, here's the deal. We got Chef Rafael Rios joining on, us on the show oh. for, from Yeos, and I love Chef uh, Rafael. I love Yeos. Here's what I'm sad about: we're not in the studio, and we're not able to taste his food. I know. I wonder if is he going to be at his farm? Is he going to be at his restaurant? He is moving and shaking all over the place. I know that we've been in quarantine, but he is making a difference in his community every single day. He is not stopping because he is just a powerhouse. He is a powerhouse, and I can't wait to visit with him about that. So stay with us, folks. All of those things happening later. Right now, let's send it over to Turbo Dan and figure out what's happening with him. All right, folks. Well, we're joined now by the one and only Turbo Dan. He's our extreme sports guy, and he's taking uh, precautions in this segment to the extreme. Turbo Dan, what do you got going on behind you there? I, I see you're kind of standing in a field. Tell us what's happening. Oh yeah, well, I mean, this is where this is where I've been living for the last uh, well, ever since the CDC said we needed to distance ourselves. I've been, man, I've been I've been roughing it. Tell us what Turbo Dan roughing it looks yeah, what like. What is roughing it? Oh, you guys, you, you guys want to check out my pad? I can, I can show you. I mean, this is it. This is my this is my home away from home. This is my shed. The 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 the, the COVID cave. Yeah, that's a great name for it. I've been trying to think of something this entire time, but. Had no unbounced ideas off until now. I've been trying to call you guys for like weeks. Uh, this right here, this is uh, this is where I sleep. Well, what? So that's where you sleep, obviously, and that's a little bit yeah. for you. But what else do you have? Cramped, but this is my shower station here. I've got my uh, my robe. There's a loofah, uh, my body wash, and my shampoo. And uh, if I turn on this faucet right here, I even got a built-in that, shower. Whoa! I got water. There's my. There's my shower right there. I mean, it looks like you've got it all. So what are you eating? How are you nourishing yourself? This right here, this is what I've been eating. These things are actually very delicious, very nutritious. And uh, if you cook them up right, uh, I mean, you, you, you don't even notice that like dirt flavor. Unfortunately, I've, I've, I've grown accustomed to it. 
So what do you do to entertain yourself? Like this looks all very boring. Oh, I can yeah, maybe prop, I mean, up, prop up my camera here and show you uh, show you how I run sprints. Give us a little bit of a a flavor of of your your sprint running. Oh, and you're wearing. Thank goodness you're wearing that unitard. That's one of my favorite things. What are we waiting for? Oh, well, I'm sure. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I that was the fastest I think I've ever seen <laughs> Turbo Dan run. I forgot that he does that weird arms down at his side technique. Wait, it's not weird, first of all. Oh, okay, sorry. like it's, it, I've spent years perfecting that running style, it's, and that's we'll, how I've we'll call it eccentric. Before. Yeah, better word for it for sure. Um, call it what you want. I'm the fastest man alive. You put a lot of effort into it, and I think that if anything, we can all take a little bit of reassurance that. Uh, you're not out in the world uh, spreading your germs Think, at all. No, we can right always now, rest easy when right Turbo Dan's guys, not in the world. You guys don't have to worry about me at all right now. Uh, as long as you guys call me back sometimes, I, I'm sure I'll be okay. Yeah, I know you've been trying to get in touch with us, and I'm glad we were able to make this uh, Zoom meeting work today, this video chat. So thanks so much, Turbo Dan, for joining yeah, us. I felt like this was, I felt like this was like cribs, man. This was fun. <laughs> It's exactly like Cribs. Uh, thanks. Stick around, folks. We got more happening later. Sand furniture doing good. Shine a spotlight on your neighborhood. Well, we're relaxing here at Sam's Furniture, and we've got Brandon Swoboda, Habitat for Humanity, Washington County, joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Tell me about the work that um, the Washington County Habitat for Humanity does. Yeah, so we're focused on helping low-income families achieve home ownership. And the way that they do that is they come to us as a partner family. They put in 300 hours of sweat equity. We find volunteers like you, sponsors come alongside. We build the house together. They buy the ha house from Habitat at a 0% interest loan and become homeowners. Wow, that's such an amazing thing. You know, really you hear is. about Habitat for Humanity all the time, but to hear that it's it's happening yeah. right here in right North Arkansas, Washington North. County. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if people are watching, they want to get involved, maybe they want to contribute some hours, maybe they want to volunteer, how, yeah. how, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, so they can find us on the web, Habitat for Humanity, Washington County, or you can find us on Facebook as well and help these low-income families get into home ownership. It's yeah. pretty awesome. It's so important. Brandon, yeah. thank you for hey, the time. And I wonder if Sam's would take sweat equity for this table. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for tuning back in. Later with Jason Sewell. I'm so glad to be joined now by Brian Fitton. Uh, Brian, you got a lot of stuff going on. The Go Rogue X, so many things, so many facets of what you do, and I'm excited to learn more. So just talk to us about that, man. Tell us, fill us in. What do you got going on? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Go Rogue X is my company, and we do video marketing. So we know video marketing is pretty overwhelming for a lot of small businesses. So yeah. We, from video podcasting to promotional videos or anything like that, all that digital content. So we help make it a lot easier, teach and train people, as well as produce multiple pieces of content for all the social media platforms. How important is video marketing in this day and age? I mean, I think it's kind of like, it goes without saying that you want to have some visual to go along with any kind of static imagery you have out there, but like fill us in from your perspective on that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, especially right now, kind of during this pandemic, uh, everybody is online, everybody's consuming a lot more content. Uh, you know, some of the statistics are in this is obviously expanded even a lot more, but you know, 80% of content will be consumed through video um, by the year 2021. And obviously now with this, it is uh, hyper accelerated that. So uh, I think as a business, trying to make sure that you are, you know, connecting with an audience there, putting a face with your actual brand rather than just stock video uh, is really, really important because people want to connect, especially right now. Yeah. What about, so you've also launched a podcast that kind of goes hand in hand with this. Tell us about the content featured on your podcast. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the podcast actually originally started back 2014 or so. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, owner of Explainify, uh, the company that they do, they do videos as well. And so we we just wanted to interview interesting people in Northwest Arkansas, specifically in the tech startup industry. And uh, sure. yeah, we we just set out and interviewed founders and entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And and so uh, I relaunched that as my business name here uh, back this last year. We were doing a lot of that stuff, but the podcast itself focuses now on uh, 
specifically doing marketing differently. And so rather than just kind of a sleazy sales pitch thing, we're, we're doing a lot more content driven, a lot more uh, stuff that's, that's really helping out people like giving value, kind of the education piece, education, entertainment. I'm curious, before we let you go, do you have any top tips? Uh, just, I don't know, maybe that's a hard question, but a, a top tips for uh, marketing folks out there in the world who are looking to, you know, do more visual branding, more video marketing. What are, what are your go-to tips that you lead with? Absolutely. Uh, I always say a lot of people try to make it perfect, right? So, I mean, you, you have a set there, uh, Bo, I mean, he's done an awesome job with, you know, kind of creating this yeah. experience. So a lot of people feel like they have to do that in order to start something and you don't uh, pick up your phone. I mean, that's we've, we've had several clients that we just start out using an iPhone and a microphone, like make sure your lighting and your audio is good. And I mean, other than that, just, just go for it, right? If you have a voice, just go for it. Uh, you can perfect those things over time. I mean, people have a lot of grace with that. Um, going live is, an easy way to do that so just from your your page just creating that content um but just remember like i said just you know have an idea around exactly what who you're serving and the value that you're bringing uh don't just go on there and be like hey we're doing 20 percent off today and hey we're doing you know this big sale like actually serve them actually give them some value and connect um and connect with them absolutely know who you're talking to and um, it's it's interesting how they know like and trust you at that point and it builds that connection so yeah i love that hey before we let you go one more thing give us the details where can people find more information about you what you're doing listen to the podcast throw those deets out Absolutely. So we are everywhere the Go Rogue podcast or do do marketing differently. Um, GoRogueX.com. You can see we have blogs on there, videos on there. We embed all of the show links, show notes and everything on there. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that you can find on social media as well. We're pretty heavy in Instagram and even LinkedIn, obviously in that B2B space. We enjoy LinkedIn as well. So yeah. Awesome. Brian, thanks for taking the time to visit with us. Sounds like you've got a lot going on. You're putting a lot of content out there and you're helping, uh, like you said, those small to medium sized marketing folks with their um, path forward. So I think it's really great what you're doing. So keep it up, man. Thanks so much. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity here. Absolutely. Stick around, folks. We've got more happening later. Brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Art Center presenting the West Street Live series. Go, 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 go,
Welcome back, everybody. Later with Jason Sewell. So glad you're tuned in. We've got Chef Rafael Rios from Yayos coming oh, to us. My favorite. And, uh, Chef, I'm so sad that we're not with you to be able to taste this food that you have in front of you. It's frustrating that we can't be in the same place. Um, but what do you got going on there? It looks like you got a lot of, a lot of little dishes. Are there any chilies involved? It needs to be spicy. Mo, I got you, brother. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Cool, man. Well, walk us through it. Go ahead and start putting it together. It looks amazing. So I got, we got some bell peppers of different kinds. And I'm actually going to make three different kinds as we, since we're here. Yeah. There's three of us. You're He's in your... We got to virtually eat the other two. Yeah, we got to virtually eat, eat it. So what, what protein did you just toss in there right now? Now we have the steak. We have the chorizo. And then this one, we're going to have the chorizo and chicken. Ooh, okay. combo. Now, a little bird told me somebody got uh, a little James Beard nomination. Yeah, tell us about that, Chef. I would never in my wildest dreams that I would be nominated for that. But it, it work, hard, work, hard work pays off. I believe that I have an amazing team that is absolutely dedicated to providing an amazing service. And the James Beard Foundation is also about service. Man, that's great to hear. I'm so pleased with all of that uh, for you. And now look at that, what you've created right there. Are they getting close to being ready to... Uh, You're getting skilly. <laughs> Little skillies are just about done. We got a few more minutes on them. But what we're looking at for the caramelization of the cheese under the, the skillet, we're going to start the plating process here. Okay, let's see what this is like. I'm going to give you a little tip on tortillas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to char these tortillas versus just using a skillet. Oh, just, okay. Just put them right on, okay. Yeah, I love these, doing this. If you don't have a long beard or long mustache or something like that. <laughs> you know, so. It's also a really good way to roast peppers. Like just, yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, it's pillowing up a little bit. Yeah, look at this. Ooh. Oh yeah. So so you would then just dump the skillet onto those tortillas, is that right? Well, there's two options. Okay. You can dump the skillet into a plate. Oh, look at that. Cheese. So. The other option is come in here, grab your tortillas. And go direct to the skillet. See how that cheese. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Look at right. that. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna throw some extra peppers there for you, bro. Oh, please oh, do. Man. Please do. Oh, that looks amazing. That's awesome. Whenever I'm able to get back to Yayo's, that's the first thing I'm ordering, man. That skillet looks uh, oh. mind blowing. It's so good. We have it. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Raphael, you've always outdone yourself. Yeah, man. Chef, we got to let you go, but thank you so much for taking a moment to join us. Congratulations again on the nomination from the James Beard Foundation, and I'm looking forward to tasting these at some point, hopefully in the near future. Absolutely. We'd love to have you guys. Thank you so much for your great support. Good luck. Stay safe, and we, we, we really love you here. Thank you. Yeah. You too. Thanks, yeah, I'll, come see this. I'll come get that mezcal soon. <laughs> Stay with us. We got more happening right here later. I was on a restaurant. Had it so far.
Wouldn't it be nice if your ATM was this friendly? Hi, Jason. Welcome to Arvest Bank. How can I help you? Hi, I was hoping to deposit these checks into the tubes. I can help you with that, Jason. Which account would you like to make that deposit into? Uh, checking? I can help you with that. Would you like an image of your checks on your receipt? Sure. Here you are. Is there anything else I can help you with, Jason? Oh, I wanted to pay my mortgage. I guess I've still got to go inside to do that. Actually, I can help you with that too. Really? Of course. Give me a moment to pull up your account. Introducing ATMs with Live Teller. Available at our new Pinnacle location, located at 4201 South JB Hunt Drive. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thanks for tuning in. Later with Jason Sewell. Remember, you can find us out there on your social media platforms. Send us an email over at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. And before we leave this episode, we got to thank our guests, the one, the only, Turbo Dan. And of course, Brian Fitton. Yeah, and where would we be without the amazing food, Chef Rafael Rios? And you know, these new episodes while we're in quarantine are a little unusual. And so we got to thank everybody that pitched in to make these things happen. That's right. That's our show. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile.